Welcome to Lakes. Today our Lakes service engineer is installing our sliding door from the Wave series. For ease and safety, we advise that two people assemble this product. Once you're ready to unbox the product, use a retractable knife with a blade no longer than the thickness of the cardboard, cutting around the edges as carton directs. Unpack the goods, ensuring that exposed glass edges or corners do not come in contact with any hard surfaces. Whilst precautions are taken in manufacture, care must be taken when handling as rail edges may be sharp. Check that all listed parts and fittings have been included. In the unlikely case that you have damaged or missing parts, contact our customer service team. Before drilling into walls, check for cables and pipes and make sure that all surfaces are dry, clean and free from loose debris and dust. During the installation, protect the shower surface at all times. The following tools and suggested health and safety equipment will be required for the installation. Lake's semi-framed sliding door is fully reversible, so is suitable for fitting either right or left-handing. Ensure the tray is correctly levelled and that the tray wall tile joints are sealed with a continuous silicone sealant bead and cured over the entire length of the tray prior to the fitting of the enclosure. Do not seal tray edges up to a fitted enclosure. To find the wall profile position, measure 15mm to 22mm maximum from the tray edge and mark the positions. Drill and plug the walls. Having decided the required handing, fit the door side wall profile only at this stage. Our service engineer is fitting a kitted model wave series slider. Kitted models are 1400 or above. Fit the horizontal glazing seals to the top and bottom edges of the panel glass. Ensure the seal is pushed up against the vertical rail. Please note the horizontal seal may be omitted from the top of the frame for ease of construction and seals may be wetted to ease assembly. Assemble the bottom horizontal rail onto the vertical frame profile and fixed panel assembly. Ensure the plastic joining parts are in the slots in the vertical rail and then repeat these steps to fit the top rail. Tighten the screw to fix the horizontal rails to verticals. Fit the doorstop in the rails in the order our service engineer is showing. The doorstop buffers are marked top, slender, and bottom, thicker. Ensure the correct stop is used in each rail. Fixing with M3 5 by 12 mm self-tapping screw, and then push the screw cover. Wheels must be fitted to the top and bottom of the door. Loosely fit the top wheels at this stage with the adjusting screw head to the top. Ensure the screws are engaged in the body but not fully tightened. Fit the handles to the door glass. Lastly, fit and fully tighten the bottom wheels. Now moving on to the mainframe setup. One of two methods may be used. Method one, which our engineer is using. Affix either wall profile to one wall and fit the other wall profile to the opposite frame side. Keeping the unit upright, lift the frame over the tray and insert into the fixed wall profile. Push back and align the second wall profile to the wall plugs. Method two, fit both wall profiles to the frame sides. Keeping the unit upright, lift the frame over the tray and align the wall plugs. For either installation method, 
Once aligned, affix the wall plugs with M4 by 45 mm screws. Manipulate the frame within the wall profiles until centered and ensure the frame is completely plumb. From inside the enclosure, using the wall profile holes as a guide, drill using a 3 mm bit and screw the frame to the wall profiles using 3.5 by 10 mm screws. Next, we are hanging the door and fitting the seals. With the wheel body loose on the glass, screws are engaged but not fully tightened. Lift the door and engage the wheels to the top rail and immediately tighten the clamping screws. Using the buttons, engage the bottom wheels into the bottom rail. Clip the cover strips to the wall profiles, ensuring it is engaged on all clips. Fit the edge seals to the trailing edge of the door and the leading edge of the fixed panel. And finally, fit the lip seal into the frame, the door closing side. Ensure the seal is angled away from the wall. The last step will be door adjustment. Using a four millimeter Allen key, Adjust the door height until even and run smoothly. Adjust the door angle so that the door glass overlaps the lip seal equally when in the closed position and the door is plumb. Turn the adjusting screw clockwise to raise the door height to ensure the bottom wheels are secure in the bottom wheel track. After adjusting, check that the wheel backplate screws are tight. Now fit the vertical profile cover caps. Use of a good quality silicone sealant and cleaning degreasing of all joints is recommended. Apply a continuous silicone sealant bead down the wall profiles and along the horizontal rail externally only. Now your wave series slider is fully installed. For any further help or guidance, visit our website, lakesshoweringspaces.com or call our installation and customer service team on 01684 853 870. Thank you for watching.